Chess versus JC. Um, obviously, another W under the belt for JC. Um, the battle is interesting just because there were certain factors I felt that like played into the outcome. For one, um, obviously, let's just address Chess right now. Chess habitually has uh, shown a tendency to drop the ball. You know, it's that fourth quarter, it's that buzzer beater, and just before he even gets the shot up, he's like fumbling his dribble and psh, the buzzer goes, you know. Um, Chess has had numerous times throughout the course of his career where he could potentially tip the scales in his favor and win a battle, but instead he has unfortunately lost his focus, whatever the case may be that makes him, you know, fumble his words and or choke. Um, back in the day when this type of thing would happen to him, it was one of those situations where people could say, oh, well, you know, he's young. He's He was like 16 when he started, 16 years old, 17, whatever, but he's not that young anymore. You feel me? Like he's still young, but at the same time, he's not as young as he was. So you can't really use that whole, oh, he's young, he's new to he's new to this type of excuse. It's like, bro, there comes a point in time where people can't continue to give passes and, and, and make up an excuse for a person to, you know, fall short of whatever the mission might be, completing that mission. Um, chess is fire nonetheless, but I'm just personally wondering how law fans are going to just let him slide with chess dropping a ball dropping a ball dropping a ball you know he definitely got talent like i said but there's a lot of other people that are you know presently active or have been active and kind of ceased to have that type of activity in the past for situations like this where oh this person is stumbling again oh they're choking again you know it's really unfortunate for him i'm not entirely sure if it's like a lack of preparation it doesn't look like it in my opinion it just looks to me like he easily loses focus he catch sometimes it feels like he catches and in this battle at times it felt like he caught what i call like no disrespect i'm not even gonna say that because because uh it might come off a little, some type of way but he 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 uh he's one of those battlers that succumbs to his own energy sometimes Sometimes I feel as though he gets too hyped up, too tense, and tries to be too overly aggressive. And you see him, he's clenching his arm, veins popping out of his neck and stuff. Like, sometimes I guess when you do that, you get so caught up in that moment of just, like, charging up that you just black out. You know, sometimes his own energy is his own demise, or his own aggression is his own demise. He's also... It seems like he's a little bit too easily uh, thrown off by fans in the crowd, you know, whether they're heckling him or they're just saying, you know, random commentary, little ad libs out the sidelines that he just, hey, yo, hold it down. You know, like he just he just freezes up and just fumbles easily, but he definitely has to get that under control. Um, I don't think it's lack of prep. I just think that it's in the moment. His mind is too easy to... Uh, to detach from the current situation which is the battle um there were a few times where he stuttered yo where i, <laughs> I thought he was about to just jump into a, a remix or something like for real for real and if he had done that that would have actually been fired the very last time that he choked i don't even remember what he said but he was just ah, 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 cake life like he like if he had continued and turned that into like a remix not like biting off Hitman, but at the same time, taking a page out of Hitman's book, that actually would have been fire. But, you know, unfortunate for the young brother. These types of battles where a battler just 3 0 someone, body bag or whatever in that regard, you can give them some props. But at the same time, you can only give them so much props because of the fact that, is it really the fact that they body the person or did the person just body themselves, you know? In this situation, I feel like obviously it's clear as day. Even though JC put in work, Chess still bodied himself. You know, um, I'm not. I personally can't give JC the credit for this battle the same way that I did and still do, even though I haven't seen the official footage come out um, for him versus Rum Nitty because that performance was crazy. Rum Nitty was fighting back, wasn't messing up on his on his end. I was just in the building again, in the building 
a clear 3-0 for JC with his opponent fighting back every single round 100,000% and being fired, but JC was just in the building again that much fire for three rounds. Those are the type of battles I could really give him credit for. Like, yo, my, my dude, salute 1,000%. Um, this type of a choke from chess where it wasn't just one round choke, it was two rounds. And it sucks that his third round he was choking because he was cooking. But, you know, again, like I said, he dropped the ball. Um, this type of choke where it's two out of three rounds, where if you go by the old school standard, you choke, you auto, you take an auto L for that round. And you choke for two out of three rounds, you auto lost the battle. Um, this type of choke is what I was saying with in my blog about uh, Head Ice and Cortez. I feel like Co Cortez needs Ice to choke for two rounds, not just one. He can sacrifice a round, but if he if he chokes for two rounds, that's the type of uh, situation I feel like Cortez needs to have in order to get that chain. No disrespect, I'm not trying to flame a league or flame the judges or whatever. I just personally don't st uh, see anyone giving Cortez um, a chain unless Ice bodies himself two out of three rounds or Cortez is just that much significantly clear cut better than Ice for all three rounds. JC, he was fire in this battle. He said a lot of dope stuff. Set a bar, what was it, the uh, the pump sit you down the air, zip line or whatever. A lot of people calling them out for Hitman saying that first. It happens. I'm not going to, you know, be quick to throw up, you know, have accusations and, you know, official uh, thievery accusations and stuff like that. Because he's stupid creative. Could have just been maybe he did see it or he didn't see it and he just, you know, spit what he spit. So with that being said, you know, I'm not going to say that JC just straight up was like, yo, out of all the bars I could steal from someone, let me take that from him, man. Who knows? But when it comes to uh, the battle itself, JC was fired, but he was clearly not, at least visually on, on camera, not as fire as he was versus Rum Nitty in the building at SM6. Again, it could be a situation where, hey, you're not watching it with energy in the building, so it's not going to come out as fire to you. But it also, in my opinion, the material, like I said, I have to see the footage from Rum Nitty uh, JC to even like make sure that what I'm about to say holds weight. But the material that I heard on camera didn't feel uh, like it measured up to what he spit live at SM6. Um, another thing is that the venue, the venue, man, I don't know what it is about that place, but like, Big T versus Mike P it had the same type of feel where the crowd and maybe it's something with the air like literally people might think oh you bugging but like seriously like certain spaces that you stand in can like help project or like uh, restrain or disrupt certain energy so if you're in a battle situation rap battle and you're trying to spit some fire the same bar that you spit in one room people might react to completely different in another room you feel me like this one room for some reason just generates positive energy so boom you say this bar people go bananas you say this exact same bar in another room that doesn't have the same vibe for whatever reason and people just kind of sleep on it you hear some little ooh, uh, but not nothing too crazy it felt like that venue itself honestly i have to see more of the battles i didn't go to that one live um i felt like that venue just carried like a weird energy the lighting was weird um, I didn't like the lighting from this this battle or Mike P versus uh, Big T. I didn't personally. Um, the camera work was weird for both battles. Again, in this one, like you see like a random zoom out. And then you can see the cameraman, you know, trying to manipulate the camera with little like ch -ch 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 twists and turns without making it like obvious. But they could they should have just like loosened up the screw and just turned it smoothly rather than like those sharp quick turns it was like they were just rushing the job a bit but um those little things just messed with the visual like you had a random zoom in of tay rock's face when he's not even reacting that crazy he just like things like that just kind of threw it off me however tay rock's face was hilarious his reactions to a good amount of chess and stuff from the first round because that was chess chess's only round that he, that he really was like uh, solid, you know, with no chokes or whatever. He had fire in the third too, um, 
but the chokes the choke at the end just killed it. But yeah, Tay Rock's face was hilarious. Like especially for when JC was spitting, he was just it, it was awesome. He just doing he had like J, uh, Tay Rock's face with the eye roll should become like the new battle rap like jazz face or meme type of thing. The Tay Rock eye. But um he was fun to watch. But yeah, the camera angles, the lighting, and just the energy in the room, reaction from the crowd, to me it just like brought down the overall package of this battle. Even though they both spit some fire, it just still didn't have that same type of fire feel that it would have, I think, in another venue. My personal opinion, maybe I'm bugging. I say that maybe smacking them might want to look for another venue or maybe adjust the lighting. Maybe the lighting, some lighting changes or something like that could help in the future if they host another battle event there. But for me, man, I would stay away from that venue. Personal opinion personal opinion jc's performance um in this battle like i said even though it was super fire uh, a lot of the stuff he said was really dope um he elevated from watching that to watching him versus rum nitty he elevated again i personally i don't even know if i would hold this performance up to the same regard as him versus chef trez in my opinion I don't know. I don't think so. I think Chef Trez was, even though the battle itself was better, maybe, like I said, the energy projected in the venue was better for that battle, but I felt as though JC was better in the Chef Trez battle and the Rum Nitty battle, which, regardless of how incredible he's become and been for years, it shows that he can have his days where the impact of his words will fluctuate a little something-something. Um... I still think that he definitely deserves Lux. He obviously still thinks he deserves Lux. I think at this point, Lux thinks that JC, when it comes to Penn, JC deserves Lux. Um, I just wonder if he'll have a potential off day when he faces, you know, when he faces Loaded. Will he come JC Rum Nitty form or will he come JC whoever else for you know and it's not to say that jc versus chess wasn't fire because it was but at the same time um will jc versus chess be able to beat lux at his best who knows will lux be able to make the necessary adjustments to uh beat what jc comes to the table with because we we i think people have kind of acknowledged at this point that lux has is still holding on to more of that old school. He still has like a, a older style in his rap and his delivery and stuff is a little bit different from the newer model of battle rap. So maybe the impact of his punches and stuff doesn't hit as hard, especially in the venue. And you still catch it on camera and you're like, damn, I gotta break this down. But it still doesn't have that same type of like punch impact, I think on camera or live in the venue depending on you know the setting and stuff like that um i'm more and more interested to see that battle as time goes on and i know the fans are really gonna want to see that battle when jc versus rum nitty comes out you know old versus new but let's see what happens it's definitely gonna go down jc versus chess obvious clear as day in my opinion 3-0 for jc you could argue 2-1 if you want to give chess the first some people, I think, have actually been saying that, but I still say 3-0. Uh, Chess, my brother, salute to you. You got skills, but you got to get it together. JC, keep it up, smacking them, get a different venue, in my opinion.